okay guys uh a quick one today i'm going to show you how you can design a big board banner and if possible i'm going to show you how you can do the mock-up so uh but first of all we are going to uh design it first so let's go to image size uh the weight is one to eighty that's the weight that i'm going that's what i want to use for the weight for the height i'm going to use six seven two that's for the height then i will click ok that's the image size that i want to use then for the background color i'm going to use red yeah i'm going to use red then um i want to import an image from my gallery let us see i'm gonna import image from my gallery then i'll just go to okay that's the image that i want to use then okay let me see if i can crop this a little bit Okay. okay then i'll replace it like this and take it off then i will uh okay let me expand it because i don't want any sharp i don't want any any sharp um curve all right so uh the next thing that i want to do now i want to go to opacity reduce the opacity let's leave it on 15 on 15 cool then mark it i'll lock it i haven't done that the next thing that i'm going to do now i will bring out a shape go to shape then um mm, go to gradient click on the plus sign then um click on this bucket icon then turn this to white then click on the second one click on the bucket icon then take this one like this cool then um okay drag this come closer a little bit and then mark it like this now let's go with this and see if uh, this is what we really want okay i think we can go with this and then mark it so i hope uh you get sorry delete this i hope you get what i'm doing i hope you are following cool then uh let's lock it i haven't done that the next thing i'm going to do now i'm going to bring the uh, shape turn the radius to 100 then just press it here just place it here just place it here then um i'm going to copy this again then place it here as well do the same thing here let's take this in cool all right i haven't done that the next thing i'm going to do now i'm going to bring out an image i'm going to bring out an image that's the image that i want to use then i'll just place it here let me reduce the size again let me reduce the size a little cool then i'll lock it I haven't done that uh i'm just gonna duplicate this then place it here that's the shape right then place it here and then lock it the next thing that i'm going to do now i'm going to bring out um what do we call a shape i'm going to bring out a shape and then okay let me give it a radius I want to go with something like this so the next thing that i will do now i will go to my texture go to my texture and then um this is not what i want go with this cool then um i will go to my stroke give it a white stroke Give it a white stroke let's see okay let's make it fun then go to shadow enable it like this cool then i'll place it here then i'll double tap this place it here then i'll go to the texture delete this import and the the next image that i want to use
let's go with this then click ok so um okay enable it like this then mark it uh let's copy this again then place it here then go to your texture again delete this then click um on let's import another image okay let's go with this cool so i haven't done that the next thing that i'm going to do now i'm going to bring out a text there is a text that i copy i've already copied a text i've already copied a text so i'll just place it here just place it like this then i'll make it a tree line cool then uh let's see if we can should give it a fonts go to fonts uh no 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 let's go with this cool all right so uh position it here then i will go to my shape again turn the radius to 100 then place it here i want to import a logo at this point i want to import a logo here then i'll go to to my big app to bring out the logo then i'll crop it here mark it then import the logo inside the cycle cool okay i haven't done that the next thing i'm going to do now i'm going to uh bring out the social media sorry for that i'm going to bring out the social media handle i'm going to bring out the social media handle let's say this is uh let's change the color let's change the color to black cool then reduce the size let's say this is an instagram all right just place it here uh let's say this is an instagram so i'm going to bring out an instagram icon bring out an instagram icon Cool. Position it here like this. So I will copy it, then bring out um, a Facebook icon. I oh, sorry, a Facebook handle. Okay. This is a Facebook handle on. Then I will place it here. So I will copy this. Then go to my crop then bring out facebook icon cool then place it here like this having done that i'm going to bring out um the brand name again On this note, I want to change this color to red. Then position it here like this. Let me see if I can reduce the size. Then I'll go to my phones and then give it a phone. Uh, 
um, let me search for this. Okay, cool. Then I'll bring out another text again. Then I'll change this one to black. Cool. Then I'll reduce the size. Okay, that's all I want it to do. Let me bring it down a little. Cool. Um, let's see if we can add a phone number. Click OK. Then change the color to black. Sorry, I made a mistake here. This is not the uh, this is not the sorry the text that are supposed to change the phones earlier. Okay, let me change it again. Okay, cool. That is it. All right, then I will go here. I'll go here and then I'll copy this. Then I'll copy, bring up the WhatsApp icon. Sorry for that. Okay. Crop it like this. Then bring it down. Just position it here. Cool. That is it. All right, guys. Um. Let me see. Okay, let's just save this first. You can save it as um, uh, JPG and then Ultra. Uh, 